Allah has written it, where it's going to be and how it's going to be. And we sit here saying, oh Allah, oh Allah, and things happen and go wrong. We can't make sense of it. We leave Allah altogether. Allah knows, ya akhi. If He knows the atom, what's, un what's beneath it, what's happening inside, He knows. And He tells you, don't worry, I'm with you. Just you, you keep going. Rely on me. Even if things go wrong, I know what's happening. Have your good trust in me. I just wanted to say something. Is that I love you. I truly do love you for the sake of Allah. And I truly do want to see you in Jannah for the sake of Allah. And I would want to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where I hear Allah saying to us, Idkhuluha bi salam. Enter paradise with, with what? With peace and security, inshaAllah wa ta'ala. So just make someone's day. Tell them that you love them. And tell them that you would want for us to work with each other, with one another, in order for us to see one another in Jannah, inshaAllah wa ta'ala. So make sure you tag them in and show them how much you love them. Because wallahi, I may not know you, but just understand that I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you can't say you love someone if you're not praying for their guidance. And this is where I want to bring it back to all of us. As you're thinking about your co-workers, you're thinking about your family, you're thinking about your friend, maybe an old friend that you knew some time ago. I want you to ask yourself very sincerely, have you ever really, really made dua for that person to be guided? Like really exerted yourself in sujood, in your qiyam, and said, oh Allah, guide that person. Think about that. It's nice to have a friend for many years. It's nice and we should be courteous to everybody and we should carry ourselves in our akhlaq, our characters, our greatest da'wah. But have you made dua for that person? Have you really thought to yourself, oh Allah, guide that person and let me be there? Have you ever pushed yourself and said, Ya Allah, let me see that one person. Let me see that family member. Let me see that friend. Maybe you have, but if not, push yourself. So Musa says, oh Allah, give me a dua, give me a supplication, give me something I can remember you by. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says to Musa, he says, Ya Musa, and I'm paraphrasing, he says, Ya Musa, Qul la ilaha illallah. Musa, say la ilaha illallah. So Musa says, oh Allah, I already say la ilaha illallah. And I was hoping for something a bit more. And he says, all the prophets that came before me also said la ilaha illallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in return, he says to me, Ya Musa, if the seven heavens and what it contains was placed on one, one, on, on one end of the scale and la ilaha illallah was placed on the other, la ilaha illallah would outweigh the seven heavens and the earth. And you carry that in your heart. Yet how many times do you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who is Allah? Allah says, وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ Allah is closer to you than your own jugular vein. He knows your pain. He knows exactly what you're going through. Don't let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala go. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ And if my servants ask you about me, I am close. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ I will respond to the person who calls to me so long as he or she keeps calling upon me. Don't give up calling upon you. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said What is the life of this world but like a person who dips his finger into an ocean? Let him then raise his finger and see what he brings back. SubhanAllah. Yeah, so that damp that you have on your finger, there's two or three droplets after you've raised your finger from the sea. This is the dunya. Those are my and your career aspirations and those are our savings and those are our investments. And that's the men and women all within that bit of water. And those towers in your Americas and your, your East and your West, it's all there. And as for the ocean, that is the Akhirah. La ilaha illallah. That is the Akhirah. And so it's an evil trade-off for someone who prefers the drops over the ocean. A heart that feels the pain of the suffering of others is the heart of a believer. You committed a sin and you repented and then you've done it again. And then you repented and then you've done it again. By maybe the third time, the shaitan is now whispering. This is extremely hypocritical. Keep doing the exact same thing because he does not want you to run back to Allah Azza wa Jal. You know Imam Nawi Rahmatullah mentions? Even if you fall back into that sin a thousand times, 
don't stop repenting every single time don't push people down remember you empower someone allah will empower you in a different way you help allah will help you you open doors for people allah will open doors you give people that respect and honor allah will grant you respect and honor i'm not saying you respect and honor a person who's openly calling towards sin etc but you offer the human respect and honor to all on earth with the idea of assisting them helping them see the light <laughs> اللهم استحيل واجتبيل واجعلنا من أقرب المقربين إليك اللهم يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار ثبت قلوبنا وقلوب أحبابنا على دينك Call out to Allah, don't give up, don't worry, just keep going, keep trying The mercy of Allah is beyond imagination Keep calling out to Allah Nothing happens on earth except by the will of Allah He knows about it, He lets it be It is Allah, He is in control but it's all part of a test for all of us.